Hi, my name is John, and in this video, I want to show you how Fancy Figma to Bricks works. This is a plugin I create to speed up your workflow between Figma and Bricks Builder. Okay, to start, you can go to your Figma file. Okay, in your Figma file, you can create your variables, you can create your color palette. Okay, you can see all this in my Figma course. And the first feature, you can go to the plugins and you can go to the uh, manage plugins and you can find fancy Figma, okay? Fancy Figma to Bricks Builder. Open the plugin and then you can uh, use uh, variable calculations. Okay, go to the variables and you can use uh, calculations, for example, uh, the radius. Okay, you can see this is the global radius. You can see the outside and inside radius. Okay, the outside radius is uh, the radius, okay, multiplier 1.4. And in this case, you can see that this is the radius. This is operations with variables. Okay, for example, I will start monitoring and then I will change the radius. For example, uh, 30. Okay, if I change 30, you can see that the radius outside and the radius inside change. Okay, for example, 10, the global radius 10, and you can see now this uh, works. Okay, I set the default value, okay, 20 pixels, and you can see that this works. Okay, stop monitoring. You can set, for example, 30, okay, and update once, and you can see that this works. Okay, 20 and update once, okay? You can see that this uh, calculate, okay? You can make operations with Kirk, and then you can make your uh, color palette, okay? Set the main color, in this case, this is the primary color, and uh, this is the shadows, okay? For the shadows, I create, for example, the primary ultra dark, dark, light, ultra light, and transparency. You can set, for example, for the dark colors, you can use darken the uh, variable name and the uh, darken value. In this case, is 40, and you can change the different uh, darken values. You can use a primary dark, primary ultra dark, primary uh, semi dark. Okay, you can make all your variations. In this case, I like only for variations, but you can use, for example, in this case, is dark in primary 40, dark in primary 20, but you can add a variable for uh, primary dark in 30, okay? You can uh, make your color palette, okay, 25. You can uh, change these values and create your color palette. And you can see that everything is connected to the primary color. You can see in the transparency, okay, you can use trans, uh, primary 20, okay, you can use uh, 25, okay, you can use 28, okay, you can make your uh, shadows. And in this case, if I change this color, for example, this uh, red color, okay, and I go and set update once, you can see that the all color palette will change, okay? This is very, very useful and speed up your workflow. And for example, with secondary, you can make the same. For example, start monitoring, you can use start monitoring or update once. Okay, I will change, for example, the secondary color for a blue color. Okay, you can see that with start monitoring, the calculations is automatically. Okay, I will change, for example, red. You can see that the all shadows change automatically. Okay, this is very, very cool and speed up your workflow. Okay, and you can use the base. Okay, for example, this is the base for the text color, the black and white color. In this case, is the transparent uh, colors for white. Okay, you can play with uh, the values and play with the calculations and the functions. And you can see more in the documentation. And uh, now you can export the variables and export the color palette. If you need export the variables, it's very, very important that you can see uh, some functions. In this case, this is the function clamp. And if you export this uh, variable, you uh, will export the clamp between uh, 45 and 65. 
and uh, you can set uh, for the this is the mobile and this is the desktop uh, font size okay if you change the for example the h2 uh, 50 okay but if i update once you can see that this change you need to change the value okay in the description in the clamp okay this is very very important for example if you need 50 okay i uh, update once you can see that this uh, change okay very very important that you change the values in the clamp function um, for example you can set um, the radius uh, for example the styles um, from the from weight okay you can see that this is the uh, number okay this is because the uh, plugin export all values in pixels or uh, rems okay in this case i only need the value of the number okay for this reason i set number and for example i need uh, rems and i will go to the size for example the container width i need that this value export to rem okay and the rem is um for example in two options okay uh, one rem is a uh, 10 pixels okay this is the default value of bricks builder and the other uh, option is the 100 percent i recommend you that use the uh, default value of bricks builder if you use a 100 percent you need to go to the bricks builder and change the uh, this value okay and then you can uh, download the variables for example i will download the variable i will save the variable okay i will download the color palette okay download the color palette and you can use clamp for example for spacing and for example spacing you can use clamp for spacing very very useful um for fluid and topography and spacings and for example the sizes you can use for example the logo width okay this is a clamp value okay uh, you can organize all the variables as you need I will go to the bricks builder in this case i will go to the bricks builder for example okay i will delete this and then i will go to the uh, class manager okay class and variables go to the variables I, and then i will go to uh, import go to import go to the uh, fancy variables okay i will okay to import the categories okay save and close this you can see that in color palette you can see the primary base okay secondary white black okay all the colors and the spacing typography gaps radius sizes grids okay very very important uh, grids is very very important these variables but in the future videos i will show you how to uh, use uh, grids in figma okay i will close this and then i will go to the settings team styles go if you need create your uh, team style if you don't have the team create this and go to the colors and then you can set um, plus and create the color palette and you can import the color palette Just click and import the fancy color palette and then close and then select the fancy color palette okay edit this okay default save and now you can see that you have all the colors in figma now in bricks builder okay this is very very cool very very useful okay this is connected to the variables and then you can use the uh, function copy and paste i recommend you that see my uh, free figma course uh, for example i will go to the this card okay this is the uh, basic card very very important the names okay the tags you can use the tags for the headings h1 2 3 4 5 6 the spam the list the containers the sections okay you can see all the uh, tags in the documentation i will copy this section and then i will go to the figma okay i will add a section and in this section i will paste this card and then you can see that this works okay you can uh, see the uh, card 
okay the styles typography okay the variables you can change and select the variable text align the font weight okay the layout okay you can see the uh, all uh, settings okay now if you uh, like work with classes okay you can set classes with um, these tags okay you can see that this is the mini card zero one mini card zero one icon wrapper okay this is the card zero one icon card zero one okay this is the ben uh, methodology you can copy the card i will copy this card i will go to the bricks builder and now i will paste okay the card you can see okay i will sign this code and then you can see that in the card okay you can see that the, all styles are inside the class okay this is very very cool i will change this for for example okay i will delete this um this is very very important use a hook and fill okay but, but this have a uh, fixed width and um, okay in this card you can see that all is in classes I will duplicate the card. I will set this a class for the grid. Okay. Okay. Now you can see you have the cards. And in this case, you can change the, for example, select the class. You can change the border. For example, I will change the border color for the border primary. I will change the button. Okay. You can play with this and make scalable designs with the classes. And for example, I will go to uh, section okay a complete section you can for example this hero section i will copy this hero section i will go to the uh, bricks builder okay i will paste the hero section okay i will set the background okay in this case it's a background i will set the image and now you can see that this works okay if you use good best practice okay you can say that this design is responsive design uh, okay for example in this case this is a, a flex this is the container okay this is flex i will use a section with a display grid uh, for example this use a display grid okay the container grid you can use a responsive grid okay grid two grid one in landscape okay you can see all this in the documentation the uh, classes the grid okay the responsive okay you can see this in the documentation you can copy the section for example i will go to the bricks builder i will paste this and now i will change the for example in this case the background image okay, okay this is the background image i will set the background image okay now you can see that this works i will sign all the code okay save and you can see that in the for example in the container in the content you can see that this, this display grid and it's very very important that the uh, variable exists okay because this called the variable for example in this case is grid 2 and in the landscape is grid 1 and this is responsive for example for the wrapper in this case this use display flex okay you can work with display flex and display grid fancy figma to bricks builder is flexible and this is all okay this is all the workflow you can make create your designs in figma with auto layout good practice copy the sections copy the elements and paste in a uh, bricks builder and fancy figma to bricks builder support uh, native elements for example accordions uh, tabs uh, nav menus you can see in the documentation all the native elements supported by uh, fancy figma but i will add more elements and please see the documentation to discover all the features of fancy figma i hope this new fancy plugin like you and help you to speed up your workflow if you have any questions please let me know and see you in the next videos bye